Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. In the fall of 2022, Glenn Campbell became the president and director of baseball operations for the Cape Catfish. Today he joins us to talk about the impact on our community. Glenn, welcome. How you doing, Mike? Doing glad, well. Good to see you. Glad to be you. here, man. Good to be here. We, uh, I think we spoke last when you became president. We did. Uh, and you know that uh, things have changed a little bit uh, since you they have. took that role over uh, with the Cape Catfish. Absolutely. Um, and I want to talk about some of those things. Yep. Um, you know, I know that the, the catfish continue to be a great, you know, family-friendly uh, option for people over the summer and uh, the ballpark has just been humming the last couple of years. It, it has. I mean, I jumped in there because Mark Hogan, my buddy, uh, was involved in uh, Cindy Gannon at the time, and they needed a little life, a life raft because they were bleeding a little money, and, you know, I was doing play-by-play -play for them, <laughs> working with you guys, and, uh, and decided I could, you know, stick my big mouth out and, and help them out a little bit. But, yeah, it's uh, – and we, and we do it for that reason. It's a family, fun, you know, eighteen to 20,000 people rolling through there this summer, and um, – you see kids out there running around. It reminds you of the old days when you were your parents would let you go, and they they run around and have a beer with people, and then pick you up two hours later. You know? Yeah. And so yeah, it's kind of the old school stuff, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And, I, and since you have come on board, uh, there's been uh, some novelty pieces. You know, I think you've talked about like the Savannah Bananas before. Exactly. You know, and really like that atmosphere. We, How can we do that in Cape Girardeau? Exactly. And we, you know, Hogan. If you know Mark Hogan, he wants to win, and I like to win. I don't like to lose, but. You know, I told him, I said, it's got to be a little, it's got to be fun. It's got to be baseball. And so social media wise, you know, Maddox Murphy, uh, I grabbed her. She's a, a CMO student who's, who's does, has done a great job. You know, we've, we've taken our, our, our social media up. You know, we, we were the, we're the number one Instagram account in the prospect league right now. Um, we've taken our followers from 500 on Facebook to over 10,000. So, um, we're get the players buy in. So they know that we're, we're going to do some cornhole in the fourth inning and we're going to do something crazy in the second inning. We're going to dance in the seventh inning. We're going to deliver flowers. We're going to uh, we're going to do things with the crowd. So it's uh, we we've a little bit of Savannah banana, but we still like winning. Yeah, so. and you've been able to do that. We have been. We've been blessed. We uh, we've got knocked out first round the last two years, which doesn't set well. But <laughs> in the prospect league, it's tough. It's a one game and you're out kind of deal. It's not best of three. So we've had the best team the last couple of years. Just. You get a one-game game playoff, and the, the darn thrill Billy's over there in Marion to beat us twice. But uh, we're looking forward to this season. And, and the prospect league, so real quickly, so mm -hmm. it's it's college, uh, it's college wood bat yep, league. Collegiate wood bat league, exactly. Eighteen teams. Um, they're out in Pennsylvania. In fact, we make that trip this year. We're out. We go out to Pennsylvania, a ten and a half hour trip. The boys don't know that yet because the schedule hasn't been released. So <laughs> if they're watching, you guys got a ten and a half hour bus ride. So <laughs> we're going to Du Bois County. Then we go to uh, Chillicothe, Ohio. And then they go to Pennsylvania, back to Chillicothe, back here. So it's a, wow. I mean, it'll be a, it'll be a bus ride for them. But again, it's, this is all to let these kids know what real baseball is about. If they get in the minor leagues and they get out of college baseball, that's what you do. You ride buses in single A baseball and rookie league, and you know, not until you get to the big leagues do you fly charters. So, you either love baseball, you do 56 games in 63 days, or Maybe you figure out that you don't want to play baseball after college. Yeah, so this yeah. This is a good spot for it. So we talked about some of the, the novelty things mm -hmm. that you have going. Um, you know, real briefly, I know all those are – you have sponsors. 100%. So you've got great business support. We do. You know, and in turn, when we talk about what, what the Cape Catfish do for the Cape Girardeau economy, right. uh, you know, you've got that business support. But in turn, you're bringing people out to the park. You're, you've got different vendors, you it know, does. that it, come in to sell things. Yeah, and it keeps the – I always say it keeps the hamster wheel for the city moving, right? I mean, it's, you're going you're gonna to talk to some other people here on the show. Same thing. The things that they do, um, we, the, the catfish themselves, the Patels have done, brought it to, to, to the town. I mean, they've put a lot of money behind it, but nobody's looking to make a lot of money. We don't make a lot of money off the Cape Catfish, but it keeps the wheels spinning. You've got food vendors that come out there. You know, Kenny's Flippin' Burger and What's Not Pretzels and Encore Pizza come out there. You've got uh, Canop Floral does some stuff with us. Mercy Health, Plaza Tire have been great sponsors. I mean, there's three or four banks, Montgomery Bank in town. I mean, there's, there's so many local sponsors, and I get calls all the time, people going, hey, how do I be involved? Uh, uh, the Smoothie King reached out and said, hey, you know what? We know we may not, and it may not be a big business for us, but we want to be part of the community. So we're we're getting people that want to be part of the community. You can do it for, you know, as little as eight hundred bucks to put a sign out there. If you want to get season tickets, there's a there's a lot of packages we can do. But it, it truly is a local, locally sponsored local team, and we appreciate the help that we get. 
So looking at the uh, 2025 season, yeah, 2025. Um, what, what's what's any, any any new in-game type of things you're looking at? Or? Uh, that's exactly what I'm starting. It's a it's a you know, it's a staff of one, and then, and then myself <laughs> yeah. and Mark Hogan. So yeah, he's not my creative guy. He's my baseball guy. <clears throat> sure. So. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just I, I, I'm a fast follower, so I'm out there looking at all the things that have been done by other teams in our league or somewhere else. We don't compete with, even though Marion's an hour and 15 minutes away, we could do the same promo. So I'm looking at different promos. We're looking at a bunch of theme night uniforms that we're going to do. Uh, yeah, we're looking at, uh, at some new things. It's kind of tough. You'd like to do some some alcohol-related kind of things, but you've got college kids, so you sort sure. of dance around some of that. But, right. yeah, we're going to have some new theme nights, and, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And being a team of one, I'm sure yeah. if someone, a business, came to you and said, hey, you know what, like, I've 100%. got an idea. This is 100%. the way I'd like to connect with the Cape Catfish. 100%. But I'd say, here's, here's the dotted line. It's Absolutely. done. Absolutely. We, we could do we can do uniforms. I mean, again, I'll, I'll be talking to Mr. Bruni here about doing something, a, a pickleball night out there. I mean, that it lends itself to – to what we're doing as sure. well. I mean, it's it's hot. It's it's what everybody's doing right now. They've got a great facility. We've got players in here. We're going to look at maybe doing something with them. So, it, it really I, these kids come to this community. We've got thirteen. We've got about thirty kids signed, but we got about thirteen kids coming back from last year, and they come back because they love the community. So. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right. Um, how's your coaching staff looking for next well, year? Well, that's uh, you and I were talking off camera. We uh, we have hired a whole new staff. So we're whole new. actually going to have a staff of four. We've never done it. Uh, we're going to have a, a head coach, a couple assistant coaches, and then we're actually going to have a pitching coach. It's one of those deals where if we can make the, the experience for the players, I always say it's about fan experience and it's about player experience. Those are the two things that I focus on. And if we can make the player experience good, uh, we get players coming back, and that's great for us. Um, we have uh, hired a new head coach, and I can say it here on the air. This is the first time I'm going to let anybody know. It's uh, Gary McClure. He was a uh, coach at Austin P for 27 years in the OVC. Okay. Winning his coach in the OVC, 847 wins. Yeah. P's yeah. always been a tough, <laughs> tough team. Him and Hogan butted <laughs> heads, and uh, we we put this out there. Gary reached out to Mark Hogan, who you know knows a lot of people. Sure. And uh, I just got off the phone with Gary yesterday. We signed the deal, and uh, – you're gonna like you're gonna like a couple of the assistants we got. I, I don't want to say it because we don't have a contract, but this guy played for Semo. He's um, possibly going in the Hall of Fame for Semo here coming up. So a baseball player. Oh, so possibly, possibly we don't, we don't know. So let's don't mention names. That's quite, until that's, I get that, a that's quite the tease. Yeah. So it's okay. uh, but we're gonna have a great a great staff. And I and I, really I it's awesome for the kids. So. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that with you us. Bet. Looking forward to and, having you. And uh, as we wrap up here real quick. Um, CapeCatfish.com, best yeah. way to kind of stay connected Absolutely. and, on the, and on, on the social media sites yeah. as well. Absolutely. We moved uh, we moved our offices and our, our uh, store to uh, 77 South Plaza Way, so a couple doors down. We're open 11 to 2 during the holidays. Got a big sale going on. Stop in. Uh, season tickets and the schedule will be out here in the next month. But, uh, yeah, we're... We're, we're ramping back up, man. I didn't, I didn't want to. I wanted a little bit longer break, but we're ramping back up, so we're looking forward to it. All right, Glenn, thank yep. you so much. Appreciate you having us on. It's been Glenn Campbell. We've got Jeff Bruni coming up next with the Pickleball Factory. Stay tuned.